Oh yeah, check it out. Plug it in, the pump is running. And flip it on. Yeah, we got oxygen flowing eight liters a minute. Nashka, you're ready to go and... We're gonna, ready to my body feel some oxygen. We're gonna go inside the oxygen chamber together. I think there's Let's space go. just for one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm in. I'm holding the camera <laughs> with my one leg because it's gonna fall. Because it's not full of oxygen yet. Come on, Serge. Okay. Oh. Zip me in. Zip me in. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Too. Hello. Look at the window. Look at the window. <laughs> There's a window. That's the perfect moment. <laughs> I told you there's space just for one. <laughs> well, if you would do the zipper or, um, or go to the other side, well, there'd be plenty for two. <laughs> There's pillows on this side, I can't go to the other side. We'll move the pillows over there! <laughs> okay, I can help. Hold on, hold on. That part of the zipper goes outside. Oh. Okay, push it on. Get the blue one out. Oh. I hope you won't need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I hope so. It's being pumped in. <laughs> ah. We are too big for this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Stay on your side. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Oi, okay. Whoa. <laughs> so behind Dasha are the safety uh, pressure relief valves. There's two of them. And uh, one is a uh, auxiliary, just blocked off. So uh, what they're doing is releasing pressure right now. You could hear air moving out, right? Mm -hmm. So that means the air pressure has reached, the pressure inside the chamber has reached the setting. So we're at 1.3 barometric pressure right now. The uh, open and closed valve is closed. And so uh, it's just the two of us here just lounging around. How are you? <laughs> Having fun? Yeah. Did your ears pop? Tell tell us about that. How, how were your ears? Uh, you know, you the the same feeling as when you're uh, in airplane landing or taking off. It's like, how to say it? Especially. Your ears are, um, your ears pop. Yeah. Pop, yes. But so, it's good now. And you have your jacket on because you're cold from outside. Mm -hmm. But it'll be getting a little bit warm here after a while. Mm -hmm. But I don't really feel anything, it's just... Well, yeah, you've only, it's only been under pressure for two minutes. <laughs> Other than that, you feel normal and... Yeah, normal. You feel okay. Make sure to bring your water, please. Because here. last time, that's what you, you I forgot. Was, right? I was dehydrated, yes. All right. Wow, it's gone dark. <laughs> <laughs> We've spent like all day in there. We fell asleep. We didn't even drink any water. We just fell asleep. It was two and a half hours. Whoa, whoo, whoa, we escaped. We escaped out of the bag. It's still pumping eight liters a minute. How do you feel?
feel a little bit refreshed, huh? Just because I slept two and a half hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, blue bag. At the weight station. Here we go, look at that. Foot steering axle on scale. Hopefully there's gonna be green light and we can go. So it's time to go to bed. Uh, it's been about three hours or two hours since we were inside the hyperbaric chamber. Dasha, say hi. Just say hi. You don't have to show your face. Uh, she's getting ready for, for bed. Say hi to them. Hi. How do you feel? <laughs> good, uh, good. So Dasha's body from playing sports so much in her life. Um, I noticed that her joints crack and it's from, well, I know a lot of sports players use hyperbaric chambers for rejuvenation and LeBron James, for example, LeBron James has one. So, um, and when I delivered some of the exotic cars, I delivered to some sports players that, that had hyperbaric chambers and we would talk about it every now and then. Anyways, so um, so I thought it could help her for the joints cracking and I think it did but her joint just cracked now one of them. Um, just a minute ago. So, uh, but until, but for three hours they weren't cracking, right? I don't, they were? No. They no. weren't. Okay, yeah, so, and I didn't hear anything. And this is something only I noticed and brought to Dasha's attention since we we met right and we're starting to spend time together you didn't even know this about yourself because she was tuning it out you know each time her shoulder or her hip or her elbow or wrist cracks you know she, she's just going about her normal day and i was like listen are you falling apart honey <laughs> you know once for you know so i was like i know occasionally i get a you know a knee my knee pops or something but you know not all day long you know I, I'm I guess I'm exaggerating when I say that but I was like gosh you're so much younger than me what's wrong with you you know but that's what playing sports and pushing your body mm -hmm. does you know it it you know that's one of the consequences one of because you know the training she was going through and um the story she tells me about it so anyways um we both felt very energetic and rejuvenated after we left the hyperbaric chamber uh, we were like oh let's drive three double all-nighters semi-truck just like the old days when the guys um you know 
but no, three hours later, we're like, let's take a break and sleep in in the middle of Wisconsin. We're not going to wake up in no Indiana. So, uh, you know, I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to have a hyperbaric chamber in the semi-truck? That's what I wanted originally, but it's too big to fit in the sleeper. Maybe we'll still figure out how to do it. So, uh, yeah. And, um, glad to hear that somebody has their hyperbaric chamber helping them. The, the, that was at one of our clients' house. We stopped by after picking up the load. And, um, we tried the chamber that they bought. So, uh, we had some tea with them. Very happy for them that they're happy with their hyperbaric chamber. Uh, it's a little business thing we're trying to... Project we're working on while trucking. So, uh, if you're interested, we can talk more about it. Let me know in the comments. I'll make more videos about it. But it's something that we're trying in 2021. And... Um, that's all I wanted to say. Good night. Love your faces. Tell them you love their faces too. I love your faces. Good okay. night. That's all you're going to see is her lips because <laughs> her eyes are closed. <laughs>